My name is Cecily and I'm from Washington, D.C. I do acoustic soul music, so it's influenced by folk and jazz and soul and R&B and, you know, it's kind of a blend of all those things and hip hop as well. Mm, I just love performing and I always love to sing. I like, I like the way it makes my body feel when I sing, you know? to feel the vibration of just your voice coming out your body. It's like very healing. So I always enjoyed that. And then when I realized that other people enjoy hearing me sing too, and got over how scary that kind of is, or can be, then, um, you know, I just grew to love being in front of audiences. And so it just felt natural to kind of go into, into music as a career for me. I mostly am inspired by love experiences primarily. Um, so the songs I'm going to be doing tonight, one of them was inspired by me being in a long distance relationship. Um, we were on two different continents and that, you know, was trying. And um, so I wrote a song kind of in response to a lot of, I felt, what, what I felt was negative feedback from people, you know, asking me why I wanted to be in long distance relationship or well, I'm so young, why do I want to be so committed? and don't I feel like I'm trapped and all these different things. So I wrote a song in response to that type of sentiment. And the other song I'm singing tonight is, uh, it's about having a crush on someone and just wanting to tell them, which I think everybody's been through. So, I mean, mostly love. And then recently I've also been trying to use kind of um, family love as more of an influence. I've been writing things about you know, just growing up and different memories I had and things like that. I have to say my family because they are so very supportive. Like I really couldn't ask for more from my parents or my sister or my brothers. I mean, the fact that they invite their friends to every show and the fact that my father helps me load my sound equipment in the car and, you know, it's just amazing when my family, how my family supports me. So. I think more than anything, that's what keeps me going. Well, 2014 was a really great year for me. I had a lot of great performances that, you know, I, I definitely grew my fan base a lot, especially in DC, my hometown. And um, so 2015 for me was really about just keeping it moving and really being intentional about goal setting. Um, and just also not being afraid. I think anytime that you kind of set big goals for yourself, you're always a little afraid of two things. You're afraid that you'll fail um, or that you won't reach them at all, or you're afraid you'll get there and then people won't like you or you won't be good enough for it. So I think for me, the main change I'm trying to make in 2015 is just to don't doubt myself. And not to have false confidence. I mean, I practice a lot. I rehearse a lot. and. Um, you know, that helps me feel secure. And, you know, just knowing that I'm good enough and I can do whatever I set my mind to, to be, you know, just to always be reinforcing that fact within my own head.